mail time. Do you want to do the intro? What's up, guys? Back with... Uh, no, can't do it. <laughs> What's going on everyone back with another episode of stuff and things today We're doing another mail time because it's been a while since I've done one I have Ashley here to help me open boxes once again. Hello. Hello. I think the last time I did one you were here, too I think so. We don't have a whole lot of stuff to go through but Not as many as last time. Let's just do it The first one is from my friend Brandon who you may have seen skiing or ski boarding with us before <laughs> What is it? Spite, what does it say? It's like Two spicy times spicy ramen. ramen. Hot chicken flavor ramen. The thing is, I don't even have like pots and pans or even a microwave to cook this right now, so. He ain't never lied. <laughs> <laughs> there's like college kid level where you don't have anything in your fridge, which I don't. And, and then, then there's you. And then there's a step below <laughs> that where I, um, yeah. My there's tapioca, tapioca, red pepper. It just says red pepper. I don't know, but Brandon, I promise that I will eat this. Probably Dave and I will eat this in a future video. So <laughs> thanks for sending that in. Next. Oh, I know what this one is. I don't even have a knife. Where's my knife at? Bro, get your life. Ooh, that went. Hopefully I didn't cut it. Anymore. Another flashlight. Another, Another flashlight. One. <laughs> it's violent. This is from Through Night. I'm probably gonna end up doing a video on this. This is the oh, <laughs> the Catapult V6. If this is anything like the last one they sent me, it's probably pretty cool. It already kind of looks the same. Hmm. Hang on. Surely not. This has a massive battery in it. 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. And I think this is one of their thrower lights based off of the way it looks. It's all in Chinese. Uh, it's a Chinese. It's a China. It's a China. <laughs> Turbo mode, 1700 lumens, 1700 lumens. Ooh, that's like low mode. <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Damn, that is, that's pretty bright. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a tiny, tiny hot spot. And how far can it go? 750 meters. So this is like a, like a search. Uh, the last one was like a search and rescue. Like this one is like, I want to blind the people in the building across from me. Like, <laughs> just be a dick and be like, mm, gotcha. here's 1700 lumens in your eyeballs. It's kind of like a lightsaber. It's just like super oh, concentrated. Yeah. You guys will see a review on this hopefully this week sometime. We should go out to the Everglades to test this. Yeah, let's get eaten by alligators. Well, not like in the water, but at least go out there. You don't want to go? All right, I'll go by myself. I'll go with you. <laughs> Next. So this company is a sister company of Talon Grips. You guys have seen the Talon Grips on my XDS9, which I don't show very often in videos, and also on my CZP10C. And I always see them when I run into them at like SHOT Show and NRA, and they're at like all of the big gun things. So this is a sister company of theirs, and they make, see if you can figure out what these are for. Oh, it's super obvious. <laughs> I didn't know how they were gonna be back. So these are, yeah, these are like the same rubberized grips that you put on a gun. But these are for Xbox controllers, and I'm sure they make like PS4 controllers and stuff like that. So I don't play video games that often. I know you're looking at me like I play video games every day of my life. I don't, but I think I want to because a lot of people are like, yo, you should stream on Twitch. Everyone's on Twitch. So I think I'm going to do that. I will leave a link to my Twitch channel down below. I've used it in the past, but I haven't been on it in like months. So if you want to follow me there, if you're into that sort of thing in the next couple of months or so, I'm gonna be doing that. Maybe like once a week. I do videos once a week, I do a podcast once a week, so maybe I can stream once a week too. Thank you, Gamer Lock. I'm gonna put these on my controller and try them out. Next, this one is from Patriot Patriot Box Club. This is a monthly subscription, I believe. Actually, okay. where's my phone? Hi, Talon, we are Patriot Box Club. We are a monthly subscription box featuring tactical, survival, and EDC products. All the products are made in the USA from small companies with a small following. Yeah, so I was kind of right. <laughs> what? That's so aggressive. I thought you were gonna read the rest of it. I had a lot of strength <laughs> for us. Cut towards yourself. Patriot Box Club. Ooh, the first item on the list is a Trayvax original wallet. We got a patch. Trayvax original wallet. Oh wait, this isn't an original. This is a Trayvax element. This says original, which is $30. These are not $30. This is actually a really dope wallet. I wonder if they did that by accident or, or what, but 
Dope. I'll probably give this away because I have a lot of Trayvax wallets. Dope, dope wallet. This is one of my favorite Trayvax wallets, so that's really cool actually. What is that? What's like, what's unique about it? I don't know. It kind of feels like it would be like expensive. Yeah. Jolly Roger EDC pen, that's what it is. American Walnut. Credit card multi-tool. That would be that. Oh, cool. Focus, focus. <laughs> there you go. Couple bolt heads on there, a little saw. I think that's a blade, so you probably couldn't carry this through TSA. Bottle opener, a little flathead screwdriver, and little ruler. And what's the last thing? Hollow point gear. Oh, this is something that you probably also shouldn't bring on a plane. These are 40 caliber shells that you put around a zipper. So if you have a broken zipper or something, you can throw this on Shut there. up, seriously? What if you put this on like the zipper of your pants? <gasps> yeah. Easy access. All right, got it. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of stickers from the different companies. That's pretty pretty cool. cool. If you guys want to check out their site and everything, I will leave a link in the description down below. So thanks for sending that out. Next. Help me out. I'm trying. Ugh. Who would have guessed? Another electric skateboard. This is the, how do you say that? <laughs> whoa board. Whoa board, the <laughs> whoa board. End skate. Bro. And I don't really know much about this board, but I guess I will do a review on it since I have it now. Another one. Whoa, that's kind of different looking. So the last board that I opened on a mail time was that Chinese board, the King Kong board, and we all know how that one went. I actually don't have that anymore. This one looks, uh, right off the bat, it looks a lot better, I'll just say that. Dual hub motors, it's a wood orange deck, super bright. Looks like the same kind of wheels that are on other boards. And it's got an LCD screen up here. I don't know, it might be promising. It's kind of hard to tell, but you guys can check back on the channel maybe next week sometime and I will give my thoughts on this thing. All right. Next. Woo! 200K. We're not at 200,000 yet, but. The close. We're gonna be there probably pretty soon. The legendary rap job from Mama Panda. BarkBox, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> so this video is sponsored by BarkBox. Just kidding. This is another subscription box, but it's just packaged in here. I don't have a dog, but if BarkBox wants to sponsor a video, maybe I'll just like borrow someone's dog. Oh man, look at this. Congrats, Talon. No one deserves 200,000 followers more than you. Keep up the great work and let's watch your numbers continue to grow from your friends at Panda Tactical. There's even stickers of my logo on here. Talon, congrats on 200K. Next time we all get together, the drinks are on us. Wayne and Lori. I feel like I should frame this. This is all like super Official. nice. Yeah. Oh man, there's some <laughs> stuff in here. This one. <laughs> Open on June 9th, 2018. Use caution when opening. I know what this is. I know, <laughs> I do not. and I know why you're saying wait till June. So June 9th, if you live in Southern Florida, we're going to have a fan meetup, and I don't, I don't like calling it a fan meetup because it's kind of weird to me. We're just gonna have a party. It's gonna be like the 200K party. At 100K, I had a party at a bar in my hometown, but this time I'm in Miami, so we're going to a like outdoor bar club type of thing called the Clevelander. If you're in the area, come at noon, June 9th, and me and a lot of my friends are gonna be there. Hopefully, some of you guys show up because it's gonna be a good time. So I will save that for that date. Next up, we got AR mag holder. This is a, oh, is this G-code? This is G-code. I have a G-code adapter for my QVO holster, so I could use that as well. This is like one of their quick detach systems. Panda patches. Because I think it's adorable. So many. Glock mag or any other handgun mag pouch. There's like a whole range belt in here. <laughs> it's like a draw. <laughs> yes, dude, that's so sick. I have a ton of patches that I throw inside of my Vertex bag, and this is probably the best one. <laughs> you suck, not suitable for all advertisers with a little demonetization symbol in there. <laughs> Knock on wood, I've been doing better recently. Maybe it's because I'm not posting as many gun videos. That's gonna change, by the way. There's gonna be a lot of gun stuff coming soon, but that's an awesome patch. Panda stickers, everyone needs panda stickers. I will bring those to the meetup and give them all the way to you guys. And then a belt to go with it all. I'm gonna have this like crazy tactical rig now that I don't, <laughs> not that I don't need, but like it doesn't fit me at all in my persona, but it's gonna be super useful when like 
filming stuff on the range because I'm always running back and forth in between like the car and everything. So I'll mount all this stuff on here and check it out. Be cool. Be cool. Be Thank cool. you, Wayne and Lori and everyone at Panda Tactical. Appreciate you guys. All the time patches. Now to the good one. Yeah. So this next one is a gift from my friends out at QVO Tactical Holsters. A lot of you guys have bought their stuff. They support me, I support them. We're kind of growing our thing together. So I really appreciate everything that they do for me and you guys really didn't need to send me this, but you did. That thing is so ridiculous. So he told me that it was coming out. He said that he couldn't put a, don't lift that, you're gonna throw out your back. <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift, bro? Do you even lift, bro? He said that they couldn't put a note in with it, so I'm just gonna read what he texted me off of my phone. He said, we just shipped something to you. I can't tell you what it is. It's a secret. However, it came in a very marked box, which you'll see in a second. So it's not really a surprise anymore. Roger said, it's a gift from me and John as a way to say thank you. I'm pretty sure you don't have one of these yet. We were going to get you the smaller one, but figured we should just go all out and get you the full size. So right away I was like, I have no idea what that could be. Uh, 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 uh. A Jägermeister tap machine. So as you guys know, I like to drink Jägermeister. Shut and up. I, <laughs> shh, <laughs> quiet down over there. I was in contact with Jägermeister in the past and they were like, hey, we want to send you something. I was like, oh, sick. And they sent me like a pop socket. <laughs> That was in the last mail time video, actually. Still appreciate Jägermeister, but Roger and John and the guys at QVO came through with this puppy, so you know I gotta cut this open and set it up before the end of the video, right? Yeah. Do we have any Jäger that we can put in here? Do we have any Jäger? Do we have any Do we have any Jäger? <laughs> I'm actually going to read these instructions because I don't want to screw this thing up. It's like lifting an engine block. Ugh. It's so awesome to finally have one of these now because I actually tweeted a little while ago and I was like, every bar I walk into down here, they pull the Jägermeister off of a shelf or out of a refrigerator, not even in a freezer, and that's not how you're supposed to drink it. You're supposed to drink it at negative 18 degrees Celsius, which is zero. I didn't know that. Actually, yeah, I did, yeah, I totally, I totally knew that. Minus 18 degrees Celsius equals minus 0 0.4 degree Fahrenheit. You're supposed to drink Jägermeister super, super cold, and this machine will do that for me. Keep it on tap all the time. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, relax. <laughs> I'm gonna set this thing up and then I'll show you guys how it works. A few moments later. All right, we're back. This thing is locked and loaded. I'm gonna give you a little bit of B-roll so you can actually appreciate what this thing looks like. You basically just screw some toppers onto it, drop the bottles in the top of the machine, turn it into the on position, and then it took about 30 minutes for it to cool down everything inside of there down to about zero degrees Fahrenheit. There's a note in the instruction manual that says the machine will load a total of approximately a liter and a half or about 53 ounces of Jägermeister. So needless to say, we got a lot of drinking to do. I'm really just gonna leave this whole thing kind of set up until all of my friends come down here and then I'm gonna need your help, so you gotta come through. It also says in the manual that once a shot of Jägermeister is dispensed into a glass or container like these shot glasses, it begins to warm up immediately and then depending on the temperature of the glass and the room, the Jägermeister can warm up to 20 degrees within seconds. Each person's perception of colder than ice, Jägermeister is extremely subjective, blah, blah, blah. I think I know when Jägermeister is cold enough. I think I have a pretty good handle on it. You are a professional. I'm a professional. You are. I don't say that very often, but. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour myself a shot, because you're not gonna have one. No, thank Not you. even a little one. I've been drinking vodka for this whole video. Oh, so. vodka. This isn't a Belvedere machine. This is a Jägermeister machine. Oh, sorry. As soon as I pour this, I'm gonna take it right away so that it's like as close to zero as possible. This shot is to Roger, QVO Tactical, and everyone else who's been supporting the channel. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Look at it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's perfect. The perfect serve. You guys can't see it. So the perfect <laughs> serve on there. I don't think I can drink Jägermeister out of the freezer anymore. Oh, now it's cooling it down. Some more. <laughs> 
All right, guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you for everyone who sent something in. If you wanna send some more stuff, if you're just coming to my channel now, I do have a public PO box. You obviously don't have to, but it's there if you wanna send something in, something funny for me and my friends or me and Ashley to open on a mail time video. The address is in Pennsylvania and I will be going back there next weekend. We're going back next weekend for a friend's wedding, so. If you wanna send something in, we can do another mail time video next weekend, I guess. Yep. If you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and there is a lot of dope stuff coming soon. All right, that's all for today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.